Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Sotor brothers and sisters, how's everyone doing it today in the galaxy far, far, far away? <laughs> this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like, and hit the share, my friends. Y'all had some questions, a lot of questions, guys, your comments are awesome, like I'm compiling them to just do a video about responding to all your comments comments and questions they have been very awesome to all the new people here golly love you guys welcome to the family broadsword however came out just not too long ago and answered some of the questions that y'all had from the 7.4 live stream and i thought hey let's go get over or get over let's go over there you go my words aren't working and see what they had to say and what their answers were to some of your questions Broadsword says, hello, everyone. I've got a few questions and answers from the team that I will share below. When is 7.4? Now, before she answers this, and she will answer this, you can just keep reading while I'm talking. Uh, it's going to be a holiday release. It, duh. It's going to be. that. I said that. I commented on one of the commenters' comments about that. But it will. It'll be holiday. It'll probably be December sometime since Life Day is going to be in it. So, yeah. So as we get closer to release itself, stay tuned for a specific release date, as we noted in the live stream, and a noteworthy since the update contains a new Life Day reward. 7-4 is a holiday release. The other question is, can we have the option to replay the class mission so we can see the lighting updates with our existing characters? Now, I know a lot of you in this channel have asked this, have been talking about it, replaying the class uh, missions, which I think would be a great W for Broadsword if they allowed to do this. This is their answer. This is definitely the kind of thing we have chatted about internally as something we would love to do, but making the original class stories replayable or even viewable again is pretty monumental in scope. Not planned currently. I don't know. I'm not a dev. I am not there, but I would wonder what it is. Like, what underneath the hood? Anyone who's smarter than I am in this area, please let us know in the comment section below. Uh, why can't we just click a thing and go back? Now, I'm sure there's a lot underneath the hood they're gonna, they would have to do for that to happen. Party on. At least it's on the radar. But I honestly think this would be a giant win for SOTOR if we're able to go back and replay our class missions. Just saying. I think it's a great idea, but I'm glad they actually answered it. Someone asks, what will be done with HMR4 hazardous gear from the blue tokens? Will this gear just stay as is, or will there be an option to convert it to rack attack gear as well, similar to the vir virulent, god dang it, words, gear? This is an option, they responded, to convert hazardous to rack attack. That said, we'll be keeping an eye on feedback that comes in from players and data we collect to determine if adjustments are needed. Well... People are asking for it, so obviously adjustments are needed. Regarding the GTN, someone asked, was there mention of the deposit becoming a fee? Does that mean it will no longer be refunded if items don't sell? And it says, well, yeah, that's correct. Which, okay, I'm sorry. Well, maybe, I don't know. As I'm trying to say this, my brain's battling out. Part of me is like, well, have it refunded, or at least have a percentage of it refunded, and the other percent just goes back to the bank. I don't know. I can understand why they're doing it. No, the whole, let's heal the economy. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, if it doesn't sell, give me my damn money back. I'm just saying. What's happening with PvP? Now, many of you have asked this, and this was their question or answer. As mentioned in the stream, PvP Season 4 will be starting on November 7th. Players can see the PvP Season rewards now because they went in with 731. In similar fashion, Season 5 rewards will be going live in 74. We'll have more details about Season 4 before it goes live when it comes to matchmaking we want to reiterate with musco po what musco posted a while ago getting players into a match in a timing manner is going to be the highest priority when it comes to queuing for pvp as a reminder they will uh, try to match up players by their group sizes we want to encourage matches of pre-mates versus pre-mates etc there are role limits per team no more than two healers or two tanks per team in a war zone players always have a hidden mmr rough skill ranking that we use to match them against other players to reiterate further, although matchmaking takes these rules into consideration, it will break them over time to get players into matches, given the priority is to get players a pop. Any adjustments we make will be made based on the data we see and collect over time. 
And this is something that people always ask for. And honestly, I I I liked it, so I think we should bring it back. Uh, for years, people have been asking for the Dark versus Light to return. Will it return? Well, their answer is there are currently no plans to bring back the, the Dark versus Light event. Reminder that many of the DVL rewards are available in the game, notably on the Galactic Seasons vendor for GS tokens. Which, okay, party on. But someone like myself who could honestly care less about the galactic season stuff because honestly i find it to be the like i don't know it's just a battle i look it's a battle pass i'm looking at going there is like nothing on here that interests me whatsoever now i know it might interest a lot of other people but for me i'm just like there's nothing here that pops for me uh i probably have a lot of coins because one time i just bought the entire track with cartel coins and went okay cool and then did it again i believe with this last update uh because i'm like i don't I don't have time for this. Just give me what I want. Uh, but yeah, if you just want to get your dark versus light stuff, it, there there are ways to get it. Is it coming back? No. Do I wish they would come up with a different version of it or an updated version of it? Heck, yeah, I think that'd be a smart idea on their be on their behalf. And seeing that so many people for the past couple years have been like begging for this to return, you would think that broadsword would put a little bit more effort into i don't know instead of saying no going this is something we are thinking about we'll get back to you at least tell us that that'll placate us just for a little bit and this one is uh what about twitch drops from the next stream would it be hard to implement twitch drops are not possible right now as there would be some heavy lifting on the back end for us we're le we're leaning more towards using a raffle tool for the next stream it says i did she said i did see other questions and we will get back to those as soon as we can. So there you have it, my friends. A few questions asked and a few questions answered by Broadsword in Star Wars The Old Republic. So what do you guys think? Now, the, like I, we just got done saying, the Dark versus Light event, I think if they did a rehash of it or if they did an updated version of something with some brand new rewards, I think that'd be a massive win on Broadsword's end to do that. I think it'd be a giant W if they were figured out a way with their Tinker Toys and their Lincoln Logs and go in and make 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 it possible for us to go back and replay the class missions they know this is extremely popular uh, uh request so one would think it'd be on top of their thing but at the same time gotta listen the team is not as big as it was when they were at bioware and they are broadsword now and so they have seven four seven five seven six seven god knows what they they need to do so i can understand why some of these things are are on the back burner because they have a lot to get to right now with not as much uh, available resources as they once had now who knows ea like okay this is something i was thinking about today why did sotor go over to e or why did ea give sotor to broadsword and take it away from bioware because we have seen bioware bluff it up a lot in the last couple of years and ea is like you know we're just gonna move our cash cow over here and yeah don't stop to stop breaking all of our toys bioware just stop doing it who knows but the resources aren't as much as they had now hopefully maybe i'm hoping i'm still i'm still hopeful that we will get a renaissance a golden new golden age for star wars the old republic with them going over to broadsword so there you have it my friends some of those questions there that you guys have asked in the comment section below and below uh i hope that answered your question and i know we're not all happy with what they said so it is what it is but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's see keep the conversation going down there good lord i can't speak today um yeah make sure you hit the like button the more likes we get and the more the algorithm likes us and we want it to like us obviously and of course make sure you hit the subscribe button become part of the family here at boom nation the freak show youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay and neuter your wookies and we'll see you later my friends good day